once again to my YouTube channel DIY Repairs. Today we are going to make a variable voltage constant current battery charger. Let's begin. First of all, take a 12.0.12 volt 5 ampere transformer. Using two 6.8.10 diode, make a full wave rectifier. You can see that the output voltage is only 12.45, which is insufficient to charge a 12 volt car battery. So to increase the volt, add a filter capacitor of 2200 microfarad 25 volt. Now the voltage will increase by root 2 times. You can see that the voltage has become 19.24 volt. Let's make the circuit for variable voltage and constant current. This is the circuit diagram. Since our transformer is of 5 ampere, we set the output current to 3 ampere because overcurrent can damage the transformer. The output current can be set by this resistance Rx. We know that the transistor BC547 is in saturation mode when the base emitter voltage is greater than 0.7 volt. Rx is connected between emitter and base. When the voltage drop across the resistance Rx becomes 0.7 volt, the transistor BC547 conducts hence switching off the MOSFET. When MOSFET is off, there is no current flowing through the resistance Rx. Hence the transistor BC547 switched off. When BC547 switched off, the MOSFET again switched on and once again the current starts flowing. This cycle continues and the output current will be maintained at desired level. To find the value of Rx, just divide 0.7 by the desired current. We will get the value of resistance in ohms. Here we are using 0.22 ohm resistance to get approx 3 ampere current. Use the formula I square R to find the wattage of this resistance, where I is in ampere and R is in ohm. Here we get 2.22 watt. To be on the safe side, we are using a 5 watt resistor. With the help of this 100k potentiometer, we can change the output voltage from 0 to maximum. Always mount this MOSFET to a good heatsink. In place of 12.0.12 volt transformer, we can also take 0.12 or 0.18 volt transformer. The only difference we have to make is to convert the full wave rectifier to a bridge rectifier and the rest of the circuit will remain the same. Now assemble all the components into the general purpose PCB board. Now assemble all the components into this old battery charger cabinet. This is on off switch. This is AC fuse. This is DC fuse which is connected in series with ammeter and positive terminal.
Now put the transformer inside this cabinet. Connect the negative terminal, one end of the potentiometer and the negative terminal of the filter capacitor to the zero tap of the transformer. Connect emitter which is connected to the positive terminal to the end point of 0 0.22 ohm 5 watt resistance. Now connect the positive terminal of filter capacitor to the drain of the MOSFET. Let's check the output voltage. We can set the output voltage from 0 to 17.7 volt by the potentiometer. Let's charge a car battery. First set the output voltage to maximum volt that a car battery acquires after charging. Here we have set the voltage to 14.1 volt. Now connect the battery. You can see that battery is charging and it is taking around 3 ampere current. We can charge any battery with this charger by limiting the current and setting. For example, if you want to charge a lithium ion battery of 4000 milliampere hour or 4 ampere hour we need to set the voltage to 4.2 volt by the potentiometer the charging current should be one tenth of the battery capacity so in this case the maximum charging current should be 400 milliampere one tenth of 4 ampere hour to set the current to 400 milliampere or 0.4 ampere we need to find the value of rx Rx can be calculated by dividing 0.7 volt by 0.4 ampere. Here we get 1.75 ohm. We can charge a 4 ampere hour lithium ion battery by changing Rx to 1.75 ohm and setting the voltage to 4.2 volt.